At Washington's Air and Space Museum, crowds are flocking in to learn the latest from planet Mars. You can actually see the layers of ice. Thanks to curiosity, there's plenty of new information to absorb. Since determining that the Gale Crater region was once dotted with freshwater lakes and rivers suited to microbial life, the rover has gone on to examine clues to how and why it turned drier and less likely to support organisms. One could argue that we've already checked off a lot of the boxes. Um, by finding evidence of this past lake on the floor of Gale Crater and finding evidence that the chemistry was such that it was a habitable environment, I mean, that's a huge, huge aspect of the entire mission in terms of its goals. So far, Curiosity has wended its way across more than 13 kilometers of the planet's surface. After skirting around shifting sand dunes, it's currently located on the plateau just below Mount Sharp. Along the way, Curiosity has learned a few tricks. Its ChemCam laser beam can now choose some of its own target rocks without human direction. Curiosity's operational life is expected to last several more years, but NASA is already preparing a successor rover mission. The $2 billion project, scheduled for launch in mid-2020, will be able to land in more rugged locations on the Red Planet. Right here, I have a small model of the robotic arm. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, they're developing new instruments to collect and prepare Martian rocks and soil samples for eventual shipment to Earth. One will search for carbon molecules using ultraviolet light. Another will use x-rays to detect microbial biosignatures. And others will be testing for factors important to eventual human exploration. We're going to fly a device whose purpose is to demonstrate the conversion of atmospheric car carbon dioxide to oxygen. Of course, oxygen would be of great value to future human explorers, both to breathe and also for their rocket to bring them back to Earth. They don't have to bring all that oxygen with them. Not so starry-eyed a vision to Elon Musk, whose SpaceX company has already signed a deal with NASA. It plans to send its private cargo vehicle to Mars within the next two years, a prelude to realizing Musk's dream of colonizing the planet as soon as the year 2025. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.